Hello, and thank you so much for dropping by this show. This is going to be a brief sharing on a very powerful help I experienced through taking in divine energy. If you're new to this channel and you're like, what's taking in divine energy? Or how can taking in divine energy help with life situations? Glad you found this channel. That's what this channel is all about. And I just posted a link that'll provide you more information. So I was uh, on a Bruno Grinning conference, which this channel is connected to, uh, on an online conference. This was many years ago, uh, maybe almost seven years ago. And um, in the middle of the conference, I just had this very strong feeling that I needed to research something on the internet. Uh, someone said something during the conference and it, I, I literally was jolted. And I said, oh my gosh. In fact, what they said, they said something about Jesus. I don't remember what they said. I said, oh my gosh. I need to research. I just felt this compulsion to do a search about Jesus, which is is strange. Um, you know, normally during such conferences, I, I don't surf the internet. I just keep my attention um, focused. Um, but this, it was just so strong. It was like I was compulsed, and I searched for something, and that led me to a website, and then I search for something else and that led me to a website and then I and then that uh, okay, I searched and I found one thing and that led me to another thing and that led me to another thing an article called Christian Universalism and uh, I didn't know what was going on I just felt driven and when I read this I was in shock and delight so Christian Universalism is the idea that um that all beings will be reconciled to be God, to, to God, excuse me. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I'll say more about that, to be God, not literally, but um, that all beings will be reconciled to God. It's early in the morning here. <laughs> um, and um, it was considered, historically, it's considered to be the main theological for the first couple hundred years after uh, Christ left, uh, it was a predominant, the predominant theological view. And so I just read this article and I just felt like, yes, this is the truth. And so I'm going to read what are considered the main components of uh, Christian universalism. The first is what's called universal reconciliation, what I just mentioned that all beings will be reconciled to God, all beings without exception. The next is that God is the loving parent of all people. The next is uh, Jesus Christ reveals the nature and character of God and is the spiritual leader of humankind. Oh my gosh, that one blew me away. I'd never heard... Uh, I'd never heard the idea of Christ as the spiritual leader of humankind. Uh, even as I read that to this day, I'm like, yes. Um, and again, what I'm sharing, I'm not saying that anyone else, anyone should believe any of these things, but um, this is a video about what, how I was guided through taking in this energy to things that I kind of believed, but hadn't, um, hadn't been able to put words to. The next belief, humankind is created with an immortal soul which death does not end, or a mortal soul that shall be resurrected and or preserved by God and which God will not wholly destroy. Um, I kind of already had believed this for a long time, but I was shocked to discover that, that there were Christians who not only believe that now, but who had believed that. Of course, this is the opposite of the idea of, um, um, you know, some Christians believe that uh, God destroys the souls of of sinners, and to be, and to hear that early Christians didn't believe it and didn't believe that, and um, yeah, it was very moving for me. 
And the fourth, uh, sin has negative consequences for the sinner, either in this life or the afterlife. Um, I was very moved by that because uh, Protestantism, the second largest form of Christianity today, says that sin ultimately has no consequence. Um, uh, and that never resonated with me. And then, um, the la and then the next principle was theosis which this is the one that was life-changing for me because all the other ones I'd already believed. Uh, again, I couldn't uh, have put them to words clearly, but, but theosis, which has now become, I'm about, I'm on the verge of tears. To me, it's the most uh, important word there is because for me, it's the meaning of life, the absolute meaning of life. Uh, in the con I'm just going to, I'm reading from Wikipedia right now. In the context of Christian universalism, theosis, which can be translated as divinization or the process of being made more godlike, means to be made more Christ-like, or that all souls will ultimately be reconciled and conform to the image of the glorified, resurrected Christ. I was, in essence, that we will, that, that our, our uh, that we're all on a journey to be made more divine and to be made more like Christ. This was a common view in early Christianity. And, um, and to this day, the Eastern Orthodox Church, which uh, in my view of, uh, his, is in essence the longest standing, least, how to say, is the longest standing church. Um, there's some disagreement whether that's the Catholic church or the Orthodox church, but regardless, this view of theosis is in the center of what they teach. This was a life-changing moment for me. That one word, theosis, um, truly has altered my entire view of life. And Bruno Gruning, um, that I know of, Bruno Gruning never used that word, but he did speak um, about this journey of becoming an instrument of God, becoming a servant of God saying that what he was, we are, and he called us to become masters of life. So through this practice of taking in divine healing energy, um, I was literally compulsed to, uh, to do these random web searches in the middle of a webinar, and it led me to... Um, it led me to one of the most important spiritual discoveries of my life. Again, all of these things, even theosis, to some extent, I already believed it, um, but uh, I never had it so clearly expressed or conceptualized. So I'm very grateful for this help. Thank you, God. Thank you, Bruno Gruning. Thank you, Jesus. And I'll put a link below to uh, the Wikipedia article that I read some read from. God morning, Jason. Thanks for saying hello. And uh, I'm making this, it's interesting, I'm making this video uh, New Year's morning. Um, so these ideas are really at the, uh, are, are my fundamental theological ideas. And um, I'm very grateful that I was guided to them. Take care, dear ones. Much love.